What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Salt Life's channel. I'm Emmanuel Williams and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fillet up this beautiful kingfish and get it on the grill. So we've had this fish on ice for about a day. I caught it yesterday with Captain Xavier. Got this nice king macro here on the planer. He hit that thing, got him into the boat. He was acting up a bit, but we got him. Now I'm gonna go ahead, clean it up and get it on the grill. So first things first, you wanna come in with a sharp fillet knife and we're gonna start right here under the pectoral fin, cutting down towards our fish's anal fin. Then we're gonna take our knife coming right back up towards the head just like that. Once you've made those two cuts, we're gonna outline our fish. You're not knocking off the whole fillet right now. So you wanna take your knife and angle it a bit downward and just take your time working it down the whole length of the fish. Make your way down. We have our knife down here toward the tail. So you wanna push your knife through just like that. And then it's gonna knock off that tail area. We're gonna take our knife and angle it downward. And we're just gonna come back up our fish. And this is gonna be taking the whole filet off of it. Big fish like this can be easy to mess up if you rush. And kingfish have the tendency to get pretty mushy. So we're just gonna take our time. Once we get here, we're gonna cut down over the backbone. And as you guys can see, this kingfish is a bit mushy, but just take your time and get off as much meat as possible. Let's keep cutting, just like that. Right over the rib cage. Beautiful filet of kingfish right there. So in this filet, we actually got some of the rib cage here. So we're gonna knock that right out. Just feel for it. And then we're gonna cut just like that. So for most pelagics, they have very soft skin. So I don't like to just knock the whole filet off. I like to do it just like this, where I take my knife and I come down the full length of the fish. Make sure your knife is sharp to cut through that skin. If you need to do it a couple times, you could do that. And this is gonna separate the top loin and the bottom loin of our fish. So I'm not gonna be cutting off the whole filet at once. We're gonna cut off nice manageable pieces. So I start right here. Once I get just above the skin, I'm gonna angle my knife and push it back towards the top. I don't like to have my knife directly against the skin because like I said, pelagic skin is very soft and easy to cut through. And that is what you're left with, a beautiful, nice piece of kingfish ready to go on the grill. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna continue on this process, finish doing the rest of this fish, and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alrighty guys, now that we've filleted up our kingfish, we're gonna make something super quick and easy. This recipe is for someone who really likes the taste of kingfish, or you wanna try something new with kingfish, this is for you. We're gonna come in with our knife, and we're gonna cut our fish down the middle, but we're not gonna cut all the way through it. And this is gonna make our fish a tad bit more thin when we get it on the grill. It's thinner and every bit of it gets seasoned. So we have some Jamaican fish seasoning here and we're going to get this everywhere. That color is pretty vibrant, huh? Boom, there we go. So our filet of kingfish is all seasoned up in that Jamaican fish seasoning. Now we're just gonna hit the grill with some oil and get this right on there. So we have some spray on coconut oil. Gonna get that on our grill. Now we're gonna take our fish and get that right on there. Alrighty guys, our fish is ready to be flipped. Wanna make sure you go easy on it. Don't want it to break on you. There you go. So our fish is all done. I'm gonna go ahead, cut that off, and get our fish right on there. It almost looks the same as when we put it in there, but I promise it's cooked. So there we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and take our first bite. See how it tastes. Tastes good. So a lot of people don't really like the fishy taste that kingfish can have, but if you bleed it right away when you catch it, it really helps with the quality of the meat, just like we did with this one. So this is definitely a way to try something new with kingfish, or if you really like the taste of kingfish, or if you just wanna try something easy, I would definitely recommend trying this. If you hung out with me for this whole video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.